Welcome everybody to Robitech. Robitech is a show dedicated to PC building, tech news, tech deals, and all that sort of stuff. I'm super excited about this. This is for me. How, how, when was the last time we did a build for me, guys? This is this is for me. Here we have right here is we have a $1,500, essentially a $1,500 compact. And I mean, this is like, you guys are used to be carrying cases that are like absolutely massive, but this is the Cooler Master in our 200P. The case is new. It's also been very popular. Um, and uh, there's two versions. There's the NR200 and then there's the NR200P. The 200P, which is what I have here, also comes with a separate tempered glass panel that versus the NR200, which does not have that, that glass panel. Okay, so let's talk about the parts that are going in this. For our motherboard, uh, we chose the B550i, uh, the Aorus Pro AX um, from Gigabyte. For our CPU, uh, the tried and true, uh, the 3600X. Uh, this is the uh, six core, 12 thread. Absolutely awesome, probably like mainstay uh, CPU from AMD. For RAM, I love Crucial, I love their ballistics RAM. What I care about is multitasking, being able to run um, light video editing, and uh, also anything you wanna do from some light gaming. So that's why 32 gigs of RAM there. Uh, for our NVMe drive, uh, we're using the Sabrent Rocket. This is an NV, uh, uh, NVMe 4, this is a QLC drive. Uh, main reason I did this is that A, if you're gonna do light video editing and you're not doing a ton of that, then uh, you get the benefit of uh, PCIe Gen 4 and the right speeds of PCIe Gen 4 without paying the price for TLC. Um, the other thing that's also nice about this is, again, because it's mostly a streaming PC, there's not a whole lot of read-write you have to worry about it, so it should be more than fine for that. For our power supply, this is our SF600. Uh, this is an SFF power supply, which means it's, it's made for small form factor. For cooling, we're gonna use the uh, Super Chilled uh, Corsair uh, H100i Platinum. And then of course, GPU, uh, we're gonna throw in the GeForce 2060 Founders Edition. Okay, so that's everything that's in the build. Let me tell you a little bit about the criteria I chose when I picked the parts for this. Number one, because I stream, like A, has enough RAM to basically do certain other things that you end up doing on a streaming PC. Usually light video editing, which is why I gave it 32 gigs of RAM. I also, there's a lot of multitasking, specifically Chrome, switching between applications, all of those sort of things, which is why I didn't do something like a 1600 AF, and why I also did an X. And then sometimes there's also things where like, hey, in a pinch, I wanna do some testing, and so I wanna be able to do some light game testing. So those are the reasons that I chose the specs I did for the CPU. For the GPU, um, I did the 2060 Super. This is a streaming PC that could last you two, three, four years, versus, you know, because A, the board is scalable, A, the GPU is gonna be more than enough power for a while. Let's uh, let's start here, and uh, we'll do a little tour. I've not got to build with this one. That's Wi-Fi, we need, there's our little M.2, and we don't need anything else. Else. Everything else in here is not stuff I need. This is your AM4 socket. Uh, your AM4 socket is where you stick your Ryzen CPU. These little brackets right here are used for AIOs. They're also used for things like stock coolers, like the Wraith Prism cooler. Uh, up here at the top, we actually have our EPS power connector. This is for your CPU. This is an eight pin. Uh, right here, it looks like you have your CPU fan header. Right here, we have two dims. Um, you know, you've seen like on more traditional motherboards, you'll see four. This actually only has two. Again, it's it is dual channel, so you have to have one in each in order to activate dual channel. This right here is your um, ATX power. This is what's gonna power your entire board, but that's PC speaker, that's RGB. This is your front panel, I was right about that. Uh, these right here are SATA connectors. You've got, six, you've got uh, four of them. This is USB 2, and this is USB 3.2. Underneath right here, this is your heat sink for your M.2. So this is where we're gonna stick our PCIe Gen 4 M.2. And then we've got audio, and then we've also got TPM. Okay, so that's what that is. This is your TPM. And then this is your clear CMOS right here. That is your board. Let us go ahead and install our CPU and get it going. Here we go. So starting to CPU install. Try not to touch this, but here on the bottom, you'll see like a little, a little gold arrow. There's also a little arrow right there. And what you wanna do is you wanna line that little arrow with the arrow on here, and you just wanna drop it in just like so. And then it pops right in. You can jiggle it just to make sure it's in all the way, wiggle it just a little bit, and then uh, <laughs> just push it down and you're good to go. So there you go, now your CPU's in. Okay, so now we're gonna put in our M.2 real quick. That's a crazy heat sink for a PCIe Gen 4. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's like a heat sink on a heat sink. Look at that, it's like double the heat sink. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it comes in a comes in an aluminum case. And then you just open it up and there you go right there. There's our there's our book. And then whoa. Again, now it's got an additional cover on it 
for I don't know what. And then you've all, then you got your one terabyte. Ooh, that's a nice case. Man, yeah, that's nice. I have to say, like, you know what I mean? Like, price-wise on this is not bad, but like, all in all, like, that's pretty cool. Like, you can also like, you can also like put like mints in there and stuff like that. It's pretty neat. Do you know what this is for? So what you do is you do this. You see, you set it like this, and then you can do stuff like get like boogers out of your nose. So it's like it's so it's cool. It, it's got a it's got a booger cleaner. <laughs> you can get those out really quick. Cool. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then we just stick that down like so. Then we throw this on it. Like that. We're good there. We'll throw in a Western Digital Black SN750, two terabytes, just to give it a little bit more storage space here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this over and you'll see I have another M.2 storage location here on the back. So undo this. There we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's our motherboard all installed and ready to go. Okay, let's throw our RAM in here. Got some really pretty Arctic white RAM from, uh, from the fine folks at Crucial. So you see this little uh, slot right here. You're gonna line this up with this little slot right there. Just go in there. You're gonna just click it in. You get a nice quality. Oh, look at, did you hear that? That was so good, so good. Just goes out, uh, you guys can hear it. Let's grab our case now. I think it's supposed to be mostly toolless. Oh, oh wow, okay, that pulls off, just FYI. Um, okay, and then this comes, oh, that, that just pulls off. Over here, we got another one. There we go, nice toolless design. There's that, look at those really nice dust filters right there. I think the top also should just pop off. Yep, there it goes, top just pops off, look at that. You've got your little fans there, which they come. it comes with, so those are for cooling. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install our motherboard. This little tiny thing. It's gonna go right here, only four screws, which is nice. <clears throat> and there we go, look at that, perfect. Next up, we can take off this bottom, this little bottom thing right here is what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that off. Right here on the back, guys, is a single screw. We're gonna take this one screw off, and this right here at the bottom just pops right off, look at that. And that is for mounting our AIO. Let's go ahead and put in our two fans. These just screw right down, which is cool. Wow, those just literally just pop right in. Wow, that's that's nuts. All you do is you just go like this and they pop right in. What the, that's magical. That's cool. Good job, Cooler Master, man, they made that easy. Just basically line them up over the holes, you just push it in. and it just clicks right in. That's crazy, I've never seen fans that work like that. You've got a little bit of a screw, and then yeah, they're on. That's it, they're installed. That's nuts, is let's get our AIO ready. Okay, here we go. We're gonna get our fans installed here real quick. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mount this onto the feet. So we're gonna undo this, take off our dust filter, and then we're going to take this like this, and we're going to hang this over the table. Okay, there we go. That's all in and ready to go. We're actually ready for our mounting of our AIO. Uh, let's see, I think of the best way to do this. Make sure this gets pulled through. There we go. Nice. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna take your sides and you're going to make sure you have it the right way first. And you just pull them off. Ooh, ow. Ah, oh, there you go. You are having to be trapped inside of a micro center. You can grab these to defend yourself against zombies to get out. So go straight for the H100Is. I'm telling you, they're gonna be like gold in the future, guys. <laughs> so what we're doing right now is we're installing our brackets. Put them the right way. There we go. And then what you get, this is the really wonky part, but I'll give you a little hint. The thing to do is to start the threading. You want it to be a little bit started. Just kind of have them dangle off on the side like this. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna get our first clasp in, like so. 
Then we get our second clasp in. We go both in. You do not want to screw these in all one and one after the other because you can pop them off of the bracket. You want to do them a little bit at a time on each side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just get these mess of cables here because we don't have all of the cool room to kind of hide everything like we're used to. So this is where we get to try and make things look pretty. There we go. CPU connectors kept plugged in. USB goes right here. This is always a big part. Cable management for this is where it's going to be the most interesting. Okay, so that's nice. That's all. Those are all tied together now. Okay, which is good. This is actually a fan splitter. We're going to hook this in right here. And this is for the top fans. Nice and clean. All of our cables are routed. This cables right here are for um, our, our fans that are going to connect to the top. And now let's turn over and connect our other fans, and then we'll figure out how to run our front panel connectors. Okay, there's one fan, and then we have our one RGB right here. Okay, so there's that. Okay, now we're gonna go do the same thing on the other side. There we go, there we go. So what we have for front panels, we have our front panel, which is easy, well that's nice. And then we've got USB 3.2. So that is all there is to connect. Okay, those are in their channel now. Now we have HD audio. This is gonna go right here in the far side. There we go. And then we have our front panel. Okay, that's there. And then the last thing we have is USB 3.2. Okay, so all of our front panels are connected. Let's get our PSU in. So here's our little very tiny SF600 power supply. They have premium SF PSU power cables. Like I didn't, I didn't even know I had them. So these are gonna make it a whole lot easier in terms of cable managing. So we're gonna do this. This is gonna go like this. This one, we want to separate, because this one's actually going to go down. The rest of these can go in here. Why do, cable, why do PCs have to have so many cables? Jeez. So this will go up here, like so. There we go. OK. So power is now in. Oh, CPU. That's the one I was looking for. OK. So here's that one. Just want one SATA. There we go. So we can have, okay, now we have power to our AIO. Now what we do is we slowly work on making this all pretty again. Okay, next up, let's grab our 2060 Super. Let's get this in. Now we got that. Let's go and screw it in. Okay, GPU's in. There's that one. One more. There you go. Fan separators are in. There we go, guys. There we go. Now this goes right here. Oh, 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 I love it when a good plan comes together.
That is it for Roby Tech tonight. I hope you had a really great time. I would love to get your thoughts on this build, uh, on things that we can do to help to improve the show. So let me know all that stuff down in the comments below. Your comments are important. I read every single one of them. While you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button with that like button and ring that notification bell so you can get things like breaking news when we do things like the 980 Pro review, all those sort of things. You guys get to see that first and be on the cutting edge for that stuff. We have an amazing community on Discord. We answer build questions. We talk about games. We talk about uh, RTX and, and hardware availability. There's uh, sales, all those sort of things are all covered there, as well as just an amazing community that loves to hang out. There's probably four or 5,000 people there. Make sure you follow me on all the social medias, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Roby Tech. Outside of that, guys, have a wonderful night. It has been absolutely awesome. Have a great weekend, and we will see you guys next week. Bye.